Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kinda unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. You stay here, and keep an eye on things. Okay. But don't get the impression that I'll leave you alone inside the mansion. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Jeepers. Poe's prophetic raven. 
Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Charles Hawkins' grave. Poor kid. The caretaker takes great care of these graves. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe, and let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. You haven't forgiven yourself. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence, no more tragedy. It's painful to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked, and I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. 
If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. What now? Pierce, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspire. You're right. Let's go. <laughs>